yeah, it's, it's, let's talk about it because it's a shame. Obviously, it didn't happen last weekend, last weekend uh, or the weekend before. Either way, yeah, recently. Yeah. So talk about that. I mean, you've, how many times you've done hardline now? Three. That that was my that third. was the third. Yeah. So you did the first one. You did quite well at eleven. Eleven. You ride of the week. Yeah, I was. Yeah, ride of the week. That's yeah, a pretty of the week. big. That's a pretty big one to pull off. I reckon ride of the week at yeah. hardline is pretty cool. That. You know what? I was really happy with that. I bet, <laughs> yeah. I bet, dude, yeah. I remember because I was meant to be working the next day. I hadn't booked time off work on, on Monday and I was just going to drive back that evening. And this was, I used to work for this French company. Okay. I lived down in France for a bit and worked. And um, anyway, so I, I got voted as rider of the week. It was honestly probably the best day of my life. It was so good. The weather was amazing. The track was awesome. I had a good run. And I remember sitting there and it was... It was fairly wild the whole week in general like we had all these pit bikes and then there was this party afterwards so everyone's drinking everyone's jumping over the they had these like paddling <laughs> pools it was just people just being idiots really and i'd had a drink or something and i was like oh, i've got to drive back to work tomorrow or like tonight and i went you know what how like how often does this happen you know I mean, yeah. you want to yeah, get invited true. to an event like this because i got invited like a week before oh, right yeah so i was like one to be even be invited i'm so happy to be here and then two to be, well, actually even complete the course. I was like, I'm happy with that. And then three get voted. I just, I didn't even phone my boss. I just left him a voice note on WhatsApp. <laughs> Slurry. Said, yeah, I was like, <laughs> um, you know, this has happened. It doesn't happen often. I won't be in work tomorrow. And I was just, I, I just left it as that. And I was like, if I get fired, I, it's worth it. So you I can hear pit bikes mind. in the background <laughs> yeah, <literally, yeah. laughs> of your voice down. Hey, hey, <laughs> and luckily, in tomorrow. <laughs> luckily, he was fine with it. But yeah, it was, um, yeah, that first week was just amazing. Really? Oh, so good. Why? What makes it so good? Like, what is it? I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot to break down with that course and like headspace going into it and everything. But like, what is it that separates it from anything else? Well, I think I was happy to survive it right. more than anything. Um, you know what, actually, there's a bit of a backstory to this Please. whole thing. So the weekend before, so bearing in mind, I'd only got invited like a week or two weeks before. Do you know why? Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just curious, like how that comes around. Like how do you end up riding that thing? Well, it was, it was during COVID, wasn't <clears throat> yeah. it? And I think COVID was such a weird time, obviously, for a lot of people. But for us, we just spent a lot of time biking with our you know our close-knit mates yeah you know, in a yeah. group yeah. back home big distance and so i moved back from no so i was living in paris moved back home home so like back in the southeast trails on the doorstep mm. and we just rode every single day yeah after work even before work sometimes it was like being back like a been yeah, a kid again yeah, man. it was absolutely amazing <laughs> <laughs> i know a lot of it's, it's hard to say because a lot of people obviously had terrible terrible times but the best year of my life. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. <laughs> and um, anyways, so yeah, we rode a lot. We started doing way more content. And I think that's where it started. Like, you know, you kind of get recognized a bit more for yeah. doing more content-y stuff. So started doing a lot of that. And then um, I, that was it with Harry Malloy again. I, it was his birthday. We were up riding in Wales somewhere. We just got talking about hard lines. I like doing jumps and stuff. And I was like, I'd be really up for doing that, you know, one day. And Harry was like, well, I'll put in a good word for Rob. I know he's looking for people to do it this year because of COVID. I don't know if we can get as many people over. Mm. He was like, but think about it. He yeah. was like, really do think about it because it is gnarly. Yeah. And so it's like, you have no, like, you've got the skills, but be fully ready in your head to say yes if you get the offer. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is never going to happen. Anyway, did that local race at the Bull Track. I don't know if you know yeah, in Cobra. Yeah. I've um, never been, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I know uh, it. Alvar, the guy who runs the <laughs> best person in the We should get biking. Alvar on oh, here. Do you reckon? Yeah, yes, we oh, should. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, amazing person. Amazing for the sport in, yeah. in the southeast, I think. Yeah. And um, anyway, Rob was there. I think Win Masters was there as well. Like, yeah, I remember, it was I remember the race, big, yeah. yeah. Quite a so big race, actually. Yeah. So I did that and won it. And Rob was there and I just got a chance to rob a bit and then about hardline. And then anyway, a couple of weeks later, Rob was like, oh, we actually do have a space. Do you want it? And I was panicked because I remember what Harry said to me. was like, think about it. Yeah. So I was like, ah, <laughs> like I, I need to let work know. Like, I don't know if I can get time off work as an excuse, basically. And then just like, I don't know, then I had like a good night's sleep thinking about it. And then I just got back to him. I was like, absolutely. Of course. Like, yes. And anyway, so I then... <laughs> 
that was only a couple of weeks before and I was meant to be doing national champs. So I drove up to national champs, did that race. And I was just in my van, basically like didn't stay in a hotel or anything. We're just living out of the van. Mm. And that evening after practice, beautiful, like sunny day, amazing day of practice, drove into Bala from, it was in like Rhoda Fellin, probably pronouncing it wrong, but yeah. It's yeah so we drove into Bala, Bala. So it's basically up the valley and then down into Bala. And as you go over, I basically, I was just driving with a mate of mine in my van, cruising. As I went around this like blind corner, there's another car coming at me at like 80 miles an hour. And you know when your life kind of goes like completely slow-mo? Wow. I was like, I'm hitting this car and I'm cruising because I was in this old 2003 Volkswagen <laughs> transporter. Does not go fast. <laughs> and so I'm cruising, just chatting, it's a lovely day. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, this car's fishtailing up the road, trying to skid, trying to stop. And it's such a steep road. So I can't stop because my brakes are awful. <laughs> He's trying to stop. There's like, but I couldn't, so I couldn't go to the right because there's cars there. He's on my lane. And to the left, there's this a massive drop. So I was just like, I'm just going to hit this guy. So we just had this massive head on collision. No. Yeah, huge, like, no crash. Way. Yeah. But uh, so I've always wondered with that van if I had um, airbags. <laughs> Turns out I don't. <laughs> so I just <laughs> hit the car so hard. <laughs> but luckily I was fine because I was almost like, Where, where's he gone? Because he's in this, like, chaved out sports car. I was like, where's he gone? He's basically just gone under the van and then like fired out. Wow. And so the vans, they're so like sturdy, aren't they? That I barely had a dent on mine and his car was like folded in half. It actually went underneath. Yeah, basically like underneath. Yeah, under. And then smashed into the other side of the road. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. And so his car's basically like Pringled, completely Pringled. He's like struggling to get out of the car. My mates, I've got to hold him back because my mate's trying to get out of this guy. I'm like, no, no, like, I can see that he knows that he's done wrong. Yeah. Like, I don't need to do anything more, and I don't want to do anything with insurance, and it's just no point. Yeah. Even though this guy's almost killed. Like, almost it, killed, yeah. yeah. It's scary to realise how quick oh, it can change, it, it can super change. fast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that could have gone... I could have been driving like an idiot. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, ever, to be honest, for that exact reason. Like, But if I was driving like an idiot, that's my life over. Like that. Yeah. In two seconds. So it was a bit of a wake-up call. So I was a bit nervous as it was. So okay. I then <laughs> drove off because luckily I could actually drive the car. Um, had an evening and went back to the, the venue and then just slept in the van. I remember lying there like, oh my Lord, that was, I could have died. So the van was actually fine? There or thereabouts, yeah. <laughs> like quite dented on the side, but yeah. it was okay. Turns out that the chassis was a bit right. bent and all sorts. But yeah, he Wild. like really hit it. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway did did national champs and then drove to the hardline venue oh, and i think i'd work i'd work monday tuesday and then, <laughs> drove, yeah, dro then drove to hardline and i was like how are you oh. working just remotely yeah just yeah. remotely yeah because yeah i can just work wherever mm. and um i remember sitting in the field being like oh do i really want to be here because the drive on the way in i don't know if you've been to the venue but you can see the features yeah. as you drive in from miles away oh, i was like oh what have i done like, this is huge. And I remember sitting in the field, they're doing all the COVID tests. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, am I going to have COVID? Like, who knows? Like, you know, you, at the were time, you you're so paranoid. <laughs> a bit. A little like. bit. But, <laughs> and, and everyone, because they were calling people through, because they were doing the tests at the site. And everyone got called through apart from me. And I was like, oh, what's happened? Because I was in one of the earlier groups and they were like, I oh, know you got called through ages ago. So I was sitting in this field for like two hours, so nervous. <laughs> and anyway, but, so I got given some really good advice actually from joe smith like, i've got a lot of respect for joe smith amazing mm. rider and he was basically like you've got loads of practice don't feel like you need to do a feature because everyone else is doing it like take nice, your time yeah feel like doing it when you're like do it basically when you want to do it there's no pressure and i kind of went in because i was riding for kona at the time but it, it was a relatively light touch sponsorship so i was like i'm only here for me because i want to be here mm. And as soon as it becomes not fun or if something's too dangerous or if I don't, yeah. I, I feel like I know what I can and can't do. Yeah. So I was like, if something's too gnarly, I feel like I'm okay saying no and walking away oh, from good it. Good on you, dude. So yeah. I was just like, that, that was my mentality going into it. And then so it really helped to have that conversation with Joe. It was just like, chill. So I was like, oh, perfect type thing. Went into it. We went straight up to this, like that big hip. And then the whole week just went nuts from there. I was like, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> and then before you know it, like I started just doing features 
But as a first off that just drop, them off. I don't even know why. I was just like, I've got this. <laughs> so I just, like, just <laughs> sent off this drop. But oh, that, that first week was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!